Let's start with this new NBC Wall Street Journal poll, which shows essentially the American people hate this town, and just about everybody who works in it, probably including us, unfortunately. <laughs> uh, but in a midterm election year, the North Star is usually the president's approval rating. Look at these numbers. 40% of Americans approve of the president's job performance. 54% disapprove. That's an all-time low, I believe, in the NBC Wall Street Journal polling. And part of the reason they're mad at the president is they think the country's just heading in the wrong direction. This is a stunning number. 71% of Americans say the country's on the wrong track. Nearly 8 in 10 Americans, look at that, are dissatisfied with the political system. And one more quick number, 71% say Washington bears responsibility for part of what they believe is an economic funk. If you look at those numbers, three months from a midterm election, what's the biggest thing that just jumps out? I mean, very ominous sign for Democrats. You're looking at, you know, any time the president's underwater like this, his party suffers in a midterm election. We're looking at that probably in the House. There's a chance that Democrats, Republicans take control of the Senate. But the interesting thing in those poll numbers, too, John, is that voters aren't typically motivated behind a specific issue. Unlike 2010, uh, the health care drove Republican voters out to the poll. In 2006, uh, Iraq drove Democratic voters out to the poll. We may see a pretty low turnout election here, which may mean that there may not be the Republican wave that you'd expect them to have. They may gain right. seats, but maybe they leave a couple seats on the table, and maybe they, they end up just short of a Senate majority. So voters just are not motivated because they hate Washington. Uh, they almost think no matter who they send here, it's not going to work. Yeah. Uh, but the question is, uh, normally, the White House would say, and they have a case to make, Look, the Republican brand is worse than our brand. However, midterm elections normally don't work that way, right? One thing that Democrats worry about in this environment, look, the House is not going to flip. Let's stipulate right. that. We're going to have a Republican control of the House. The Senate is what we're really talking about. One thing that Democrats worry about in this environment is that cynicism against government, which they think has been fueled by Republicans, dysfunction, government shutdown, debt limit, uh, 40 votes to repeal Obamacare, uh, dysfunction, that that kind of cynicism turns around and helps the people who've been shutting down government because people say government doesn't work I'm gonna vote for the anti-government party what's interesting is that as Manu said there hasn't been a whole lot of coalescing however around the Republican brand another number in that poll is what we what we'd guess 14 percent right. approval rating for Congress the president's gonna do all he can to pin that number on the chest of Republicans to expose the divides in the Republican Party which are deep so I think um, when we're talking about the Senate there are a lot of questions as to who really capitalizes. Democrats are on defense and they might lose the Senate, no question, but but the, the actual, um, I think the actual conclusions you can draw from that poll leave a lot of sort of open questions of like who benefits. The 14% who approved Congress, that's the friends and family, right? <laughs> <laughs> I don't think so they approve of 